If you're new to crypto or trying to get into crypto and don't know where to start, one place a lot of people tend to end up is Coinbase. And some people will tell you not to use Coinbase. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Coinbase and I'm gonna show you a trick that can save you money and lots of time. So stick around for the DS Tech Media Coinbase tutorial. Howdy, howdy, everyone, and welcome to DS Tech Media. I am Jay, and this is DS Tech Media, where we cover everything tech from hardware to software, consoles to servers, but specializing in Linux and open source software. And today, I'm going to show you something that Coinbase probably doesn't want you to know. Uh, lots of people are jumping into stock markets and probably even more people are jumping into crypto with everything happening lately of course there is a lot of volatility so i will urge you to invest what you can afford to invest and just as a disclaimer uh this is not any sort of financial advice this is just a simple tutorial so let's get started here we have coinbase.com as you can see in the URL bar. And the default screen here is going to show you your current balance of all of your holdings, whether you have Bitcoin, Ethereum, whatever you have. And it'll have your little watch list down here. And of course, to sign up, you do have to provide them with some information. Of course, you're going to need some kind of a payment method in order to get started. If we go to your portfolio here, you get a more broken down view. Uh, prices they'll show you all the top tokens and coins and what they're going for etc and so forth so let's go back to portfolio so let's say i wanted to get myself some bitcoin i go up here to buy and you'll see we have buy sell and convert and we're gonna do buy let's go ahead and enter thousand dollars worth of bitcoin and we're going to go to preview buy okay so this is how much I'll have. This is how much I'll be purchasing. And you'll notice it's lower than a thousand. And that's because Coinbase is charging me a fee of $14.68 for selling me the Bitcoin. And that high fee is part of why you may have heard people saying, oh, don't use Coinbase. The other reason is because this interface, while very simple and somewhat inviting to someone who's new is it's just it's total crap it it really just isn't there's not a lot going on here this is clearly just a way to get you to jump into the market etc and so forth so don't make that mistake instead use coinbase pro this is coinbase pro and i know what you're thinking uh pro how much does it cost that's the best part it doesn't cost a thing if you have a Coinbase account, you already have a Coinbase Pro account. Simply all you have to do is open your URL and put pro.coinbase.com instead of just coinbase.com. That's all you have to do to use Coinbase Pro. And when you log into Coinbase Pro, if you've already bought Bitcoin through the standard Coinbase account, well, you've already been charged that money, so in the past just gonna have to move past that but your portfolio on coinbase pro is going to be empty do not fear because you can go to portfolios and you can go to deposit and go to the token or coin of that you're holding on coinbase and go to coinbase.com and you can transfer at no charge and instantly from coinbase.com or from another wallet address if you have one now back to the trade screen coinbase pro is based on gdax which was another exchange that coinbase uh, purchased if you use coinbase pro you'll have a better view of the market oh yeah 
You can also switch between line graphs and candle graphs. Candle graphs are traditional stock tracking graphs. And you have uh, the 12 and 26 EMA overlays, which this is the expected moving average, I believe is what EMA stands for. And this will kind of help you see what the expectations were versus what it actually did. And you can change this to one day, six hour, one hour, 15 minutes, five minutes, and one minute. You can actually see what the market is doing. The mid market price basically shows you where the demands are at. So you can see what price people are buying at and what price people are selling at. So now I'm going to try to purchase a thousand Bitcoin through Coinbase Pro. We're going to go over here to buy and here we have US dollar and I'm going to enter 1000 US dollar and here's the fee and the total and look at that fee five dollars nearly a third of what you would have paid on Coinbase. And why is that? Well, for one, you are placing this buy at market value on the open market and another person who's trying to sell some crypto they can fill your order the same goes for selling you can sell your crypto at a lower fee but even more importantly we've got some other awesome options here we have limit and stop and we can do a limit for sell or buy and a stop for sell or buy so what is a limit buy in a limit buy you are placing a limit at which you wish to buy more bitcoin alternatively with a limit sell you're placing a value at which you would like to sell a certain amount of bitcoin so right now bitcoin is at 46.866.52 so just like with stocks you want to buy when it's low and sell when it's high so if i think maybe within the next couple of days it's going to drop to let's say 40,000 US dollars. I can then set the amount of Bitcoin I would like to buy. Alternatively, if I'd like to sell when it hits 50,000, I can hit max and it'll show me the entirety of what I'm selling. So I'd be selling this much and it would cost 8.41 US dollars to sell all that. And of course I can strike this number down and if I wanted to sell like 180.49 US dollars worth of Bitcoin at 50,000, that would cost me 91 cents in US dollars. There's also the advanced tab here. Uh, under advanced, you can set how long this order is good for. This is called an order, by the way. So good till you cancel it, good till a certain time. So a minute, an hour, a day, immediate or cancel means pretty much instant and then there is fill or kill so with the fill or kill the order only completes if the entire amount can be matched partial matches are not filled with this order type and they won't execute also you'll see if you're not using fill or kill and you're not using the immediate or cancel you'll have the post only or allow takers. So when you post only, you're ensuring your limit is posted to the order book and it sits on the order book to be charged a maker fee if it's filled. And if any of the order will execute immediately due to its price when arriving at the matching engine, the entire order will be rejected. This ensures that the order is not subjected to taker fees if desired. So the difference between a maker order and a taker order, uh, if you're a taker, you're basically just buying at market value and you're taking liquidity. It's just as good as if you're buying it directly from Coinbase. The fee is slightly higher there. It's 0.04% to 0.50%. If you're providing an order, placing an order onto the book, that can be filled by matching you with somebody else who wants that same order your fee can be between zero as in none and 0.50 percent so in general it's better to be a maker than a taker posting only ensures that you're trying to become a maker with your fee 
allowing the taker allows the order to be executed regardless of whether or not it crosses the spread and fills an existing order which right now the spread is pretty low you can see the spread uh, posted here uh, and then with the stop order so with the stop order you're buying or selling when the price reaches a specified value known as the stop price and this order helps you protect your profits limit your losses and initiate new positions so if i set up a stop order at fifty thousand, set the amount of bitcoin and i may want to set it above or below depending on whether I'm worried about it falling or rising. So maybe I want to make sure that I take some of my profits if it hits 50,000 and I could set like a 50,100 order. That This is a limit order just, just like we were looking at over here and it'll be placed in the event that it hits 50,000. And as you can see your, your fee will be here and your total cost will be here additionally your open orders will appear here and you can close them here as well if they're partially filled you'll see that here as well and if you have orders open you can cancel them all with an option that appears here your fills will remain over here you can see them and of course we have the uh, trade history this is all the trades that are have occurred and these are the orders that are being placed right now and this also shows you the spread as it happens your orders will appear in this list as well when you place them and we can go to orders and see our fees and our filled orders will appear here and if you go to portfolio you can see your withdrawals your deposits and of course your balances and you can withdraw from here as well uh, additionally if you want to use some of these features you're gonna have to have a a balance on coinbase pro so i have zero dollars in my uh, balance in us dollars right now so I'd, I'd have to deposit some money into the account if i wanted to set up any type of buy orders obviously sell orders i can do on what i have in the currency and if we want to do you know a different coin like ethereum or litecoin you know we just go to select market and we switch it up uh, everything in the top tier here is in us dollars and you can even do coin to coin so ethereum to bitcoin Additionally, though, not every coin available to you for buying on Coinbase is available to trade on Coinbase Pro. So that is one of the uh, slight drawbacks of using Coinbase Pro. On the other hand, Coinbase Pro is probably the largest of the U.S. crypto exchanges. And, you know, as far as taxes and everything, it's all included in their service. Um, additionally, there is a Coinbase Pro app for Android and for iOS. And other than that, I don't know anything else I really need to add. Anyways, I hope this was helpful. Let me know if you have any questions. I definitely think you should use a Coinbase Pro over Coinbase. But in the end, it's your decision. Just know that you're paying a lot more markup on anything that you could get for much cheaper through coinbase pro uh check back for more videos about things like this i'm probably going to be doing more videos on crypto now as it's somewhat of a passion of mine and check out some of my other videos i do lots of stuff tech uh, i specifically use linux to make all of my videos and i do lots of linuxy based things i put out content fairly regularly at least a video a month try to do two or three i thank you for watching and i will see you in the next one